All right. So the energy that you have, you are bringing into the month, is in the center here. You have it coming into the month of March and up to March 15th when this reading starts. And you have the page of scrolls. Scrolls in traditional tarot represent swords. So you have the page of swords. The... Um, which is you. You are an air sign. So you are very youthful and very young attitude at the beginning of the month. You have this attitude of of saying what you want to say when you want to say it with no regards to who you are talking to and how they will interpret you. You just say what it is you think you need to say because it's all about what you want because you have this young youthful attitude and it's your communication and your thoughts. What is crossing you is ten of scrolls. So it's ten of swords. There's something that was really painful but you are healing from it. So that's why you have this youthful attitude and you're just thinking of yourself is because you just went through this pain and you're not completely healed from it yet. You're not 100% over this huge loss and pain that has happened. So, But you are healing and you will eventually heal from this and move on. You're not never going to forget it because when something is that painful, it is meant for you to remember it forever because there was a lesson there that needed to be learned. And once you happen, once this happened and you learn that lesson, you don't have to do it again. You won't have to learn it again. You can move on. What is below you and will be with you throughout the month is the death card. The death card does not represent that somebody died. It represents that you have made a transformation that they're because of this pain, this hurt, this loss, it's made you realize some stuff about yourself. Something that may have helped to trigger this pain. And you decided you don't want this anymore. You don't want to feel this pain. So you are going to change that part of yourself. You're going to change it and, and get rid of it. Because maybe you learned this when you were a teenager and you thought it was appropriate. Everybody else thought it was appropriate. But now you are an adult. You are mature. You're wise. And you realize that this, this part of yourself is no longer valid. So you are getting rid of it. That is dying. That part of you has had the death. And you are making this metamorphosis, this transformation. You are maturing. What you are leaving behind you, probably in February or at the beginning of March, is the green man or the emperor in traditional tarot. There was somebody that you went to that was wise, that was very knowledgeable. He was strong and very sharp. You could go to him about almost anything and he would have the answer for you. He was not stuck on himself. He was not, he did not think he was all that. He pretty much was a real person to you and you really looked up to him and a lot of people do look up to him. This person you are leaving behind in your past. What is above you and your potential is Herney the Hunter, the chariot card. You have the possibility of merging two opposing factors and making something much, much better than it was before. Sometimes people refer to this card as bringing together the yin and the yang two opposing events, sometimes like the left brain and the right brain, bringing them together and to solve a problem. Whatever it is that you bring together, 
you are going to have a victory. You're going to succeed and you're going to do a really good job at it. In your near future, you have the justice. So by the end of March, you are going to see justice happen. You, there's probably something that has happened to you in your life that you felt wasn't fair and and you don't understand why it happened to you and why whatever somebody did to you or whatever happened to you and it should have went a different direction. Well, you're going to see justice happen. This may not be what you want to happen and what you think is just, but you're going to realize it was the best thing that could happen in that situation for them and for you. So it's what needed to happen. You're going to see it, the justice being served. The way you see yourself is the visionary, the knight of scrolls. And scrolls represent swords. So you start out as the page of scrolls, and then you evolve to seeing yourself as the knight of scrolls. So as this, this page of scrolls, you were very focused on yourself and just seeing how you felt and what you thought. It's because of this pain that has happened to you. And that happens a lot of times when people are at their lowest or they just had something happen and they're healing from it. But you have evolved throughout the month and have become the knight of scrolls. And this is how you see yourself. So you are more knowledgeable and you are paying attention to your surroundings and who you are. As it says, the visionary, you are paying attention. You know how to communicate more effectively and when to communicate. The way others see you, they see you as the king of mirrors, the sojourner. Mirrors represent cups, so they see you as a lover. They see you as in control of your emotions and being able to express them when you need to, to who you need to, and using them to get your way, your emotions and how you feel and, and how, you, how you feel, more or less. You are good at using them. You are the king. That's the highest possible rank of using these emotions. Your hopes and fears are four of mirrors. So you're afraid. I think this is more of a fear because in our world, there is so much activity going on. There is so many things getting thrown at us constantly. Like on the internet, so many pop-up commercials and ads and, and all this stuff, this information is constantly being thrown at us. It's hard to focus on what it is we originally set out to do. And this is one of your fears, is that you're going to miss on something really important because there is so much going on right now in your life. And this is something really, really important that the divine, the universe, your God, you've been praying for and you are afraid that you are going to miss out on it because you aren't paying attention or because of all this activity going on around you. Your final outcome is the sorceress, the high priestess. So in the end, you become very spiritual, very intuitive, very strong. You are in touch with your 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 god your whoever it is you pray to the universe the spirits who whoever it is you pray to you are in touch with them you communicate with them you have a lot of secrets secret psychic abilities and potential and and you are very, very strong mentally. Let's get some clarification on a couple of these cards, such as 
Hmm. A lot of these are self-explanatory because you have had some kind of pain that caused a lot of pain, emotional pain, like being stabbed in the back. In the traditional tarot, they show being stabbed in the back, which makes you change. And you're going to get a victory from your change, from how you evolve. And you're going to finally see justice in this situation, whatever you consider to be just. You have matured. You have overcome this, this state that you were in at the beginning. People see you as strong and in control of your emotions. You are no longer at this state where you were just thinking of yourself. You no longer are at that. <clears throat> I think, I don't know what we need clarification on. It pretty much is all self-explanatory. Let's look at the final outcome, the High Priestess. Let's see what else happens in the end as the final outcome. Maybe it can add on to it instead of becoming very spiritual in the end of the month. Let's see if we can get some more. Yeah, it pretty much says spiritual also. Because you're going to have, see with the mice, you're going to have the mice are eating away. They're like ruining what you had. They're making things minimal or worse except when it comes to the mountain you had a lot of hard um, difficulties and problems that you had to overcome and this is actually the mice are actually minimalizing these difficulties and reducing the burdens that with the cross the cross that you had to bear it's reducing them and that's why you are turning to your spirituality is because of these burdens, maybe in religious context also, with all these problems and how it's getting ruined. So I don't think we even need any clarification. Unless you want to see what the justice is that gets served. Let's see what that is. What kind of justice gets served? Uh, luck, you have clover, the moon, and clouds. So nice. Okay, you're going to be happy with this justice because you have clover, which is luck, and moon. In the moon, in the Gilded Reverie, Lenormand, it talks a lot about passion and romance and, and the love that is shared. And there's going to be a clearing up of the clouds. There's going to be, the sun is going to come out. There's going to be clarity. So you're going to be very fortunate, very lucky with your romance and things are going to be clearing up. Nice. So you're going to be happy by the end of the month, the justice that is being served, that you get to see, be served. Excuse me. <clears throat> 